there, this is Nettie, and welcome back to Big and Little Thoughts with Tomahawk. Say hello. Hi! <laughs> Hi. And Hi. today, we have something a little bit different. So, Tom, give it's us a drum roll. It's Jacksepticeye! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, because then people will be, be like <laughs> upset that it's not Jacksepticeye. Jacking. No Jacksepticeyes here. No Jacksepticeye. You're going to give us a drum roll, Tom? <laughs> We have. Is that good? Yeah, it was beautiful. We <laughs> have Lisa from Mindvention here with us. So we're going to ask her a few questions about running an event, how she feels, how she, how it is for her dealing with us, and things like that. So hello. The joy. <laughs> the joy. Is it your favourite thing, Lisa? Hello. <laughs> from Jack Septica, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but she she does live in Ireland, so it's the same thing basically. Yeah, she still gets points. She still gets points. <laughs> but I d I'm sure most of you are aware of how often Tomahawk and I are off to Ireland to different my inventions, and we thought we'll kind of you've obviously heard our opinions, seen our photos, and things like that, but you never actually hear the opinions of the organizer, the stresses <laughs> of organizing a my invention. <laughs> So, what was it that actually made you put on your first Minecraft event? Oh, uh, it was my son. Um, my little boy, Kieran. he started watching Minecraft. And I was just Googling around, as you usually do on an evening, yeah. uh, to see exactly what the game was about. Um, and then came across Minecon. Oh. And one of the panel talks, I think, on that first. And at the time, I was doing event management. Um, and so decided that if we could do anything, we can bring these Minecraft YouTube community over to Ireland and do something for about 500 people in Galway one day. Yeah. So what, what, what did you actually know about Minecraft before? I knew very little. <laughs> um, I know much more now either. Um, knew very, very little. You've picked, and... picked stuff up. I've noticed you know like odd bits of lingo now. Oh, well, I'm getting there, but yeah, don't do it. Don't give me a quiz on it. Well, we should have done that, Nay. Try and pull yeah. some oh, quiz. We should do a quiz. <laughs> what Sorry, has I Lisa learned? <laughs> Lisa, how do you make a never oh. portal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm How just blocks? about diamond ores at the moment for, <laughs> for another event, Ooh, so yeah. <laughs> we can quiz her. <laughs> yeah, we, I think that's that's another video we're going to do one point, like quizzing We could Lisa. do, a, that's the thing we could do at my invention. We could yeah. get, we could quiz the kids on general knowledge and then we could quiz the parents on Minecraft knowledge. Yeah, see who listens to who more. Parents exactly. Or kids. <laughs> I am right that down right as you speak. <laughs> <laughs> was um was the first event like well doing Minecraft events was it ever what you expected or was it a completely different to what you imagined it being or because obviously your first event as well <laughs> you're very lucky in getting Dan TDM there <laughs> and so. <laughs> Lisa had never done a Minecraft event before. She had Dan TDM there, and so obviously the cues for sure. meet and greets and things like that, and how upset like a kid threw up on stage, didn't they? And because they were so <laughs> nervous meeting Dan, and so like for you, like what was that experience like? Did you ever? I'm still laughing at. I'm sorry. <laughs> experience is the word um i mean to be honest the event was for five originally for 500 people um we put it out on facebook and the tickets went straight away that we went to visit the hotel and said could we get any more people in the room yeah and they took myself and a girl that's been with me from day one hannah we all know hannah we all love hannah she came, <laughs> she came with me to go away and we went and looked at the main function room and they said, well, you can get a thousand people in here. Oh. <laughs> I died and said, no way. Oh, my goodness, no. And Hannah just wrote 990 on the top of an A4 pad and ringed it several times. And we still have it to the day oh. on our wall because oh. it just it just came from there. Um, so anyway, we sold the tickets, no problem. Yeah. We yeah. got down a diamond mine cart. We had li little lizard yeah. gaming. Yeah. Um, um, we had quite a few people with Snake Doctor, the Mad Hatter from Galway. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, what's yeah. that? What was that? Who's, who's notification is going nuts? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Wait, so when we're recording, you need to turn your mobile on silent. <laughs> my mobile is silent. It is, it's Magello. It's Jaconi Crafts. Oh, no. okay. Jaconi Crafts. Jaconi Crafts make really cool stuff <laughs> at my invention. But... <laughs> And Stop Jaconi Crafts <laughs> are on TV tomorrow morning. Oh, Island then. AM. Yeah, live. So, wow, um, very cool. Um, Lisa, Lisa records lots of videos on YouTube, everyone, hence why she knows the whole protocol and stuff like that. Oh, it's all right. We'll get her there <laughs> next week. <laughs> I told my phone off. We could do behind the scenes. Lisa, yeah, behind... for a YouTube channel, you could do a pre-prep and you could yeah. have someone running around filming and you could be like, don't film me now! It could be her trying <laughs> to contact us, like, they're not yeah. answering my message, I they need They never to answer my phone when I try to ring them. <laughs> oh, but we'll get onto that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pardon? That's just become part of life yeah. now. We have to yeah. talk everything when Ness is on Twitter. So, <laughs> and um, my poor kid. But yeah, that so that was our first event, and I have to say, looking back, oh my god, it was just um, one long queue. <laughs> <laughs> it was, good. it was good though. It was good it, fun. The, we laughed. We um, we were very very honoured to to have the likes of say, you know, I mean, geez, Dan and Little Lizard, yeah. uh, which is great. Um, as we were honoured to have you guys too. Yeah. Are you? Air Tom, sorry. I was, I, was Tom, on, I was on Twitter saying, looking like, what was this event? And net is gone to. And then, well, did Gizzy go to that one? No. Because. No. Oh, did he not? No. He went to the second one. He went to the one in January, yeah. two weeks later. Yeah. yeah, that's the one he went to because I remember he saying that some kid fainted. He, he tweeted out saying oh, some yeah. kid fainted on stage and everything else. And then, like, 20 minutes later, he's like, oh, but it's fine now. Don't worry. <laughs> like, I remember that. We had, um, oh god, it goes, yeah, it brings me to a sad story. Um, no, we, we have, um, at the events, obviously, we have uh, uh, the Red Cross, the Irish Red Cross, the Irish events, um, and a lovely gentleman that runs the local Red Cross over here, Sean, he was at our very first event and he didn't know what to expect, <laughs> god love him. Um, and all the, couldn't believe that we brought all these kids into one room and they all been very well behaved yeah. because they all had this one passion, you know. Yeah. When um, they came up on stage and that poor child <sighs> just thought, was it in front of yourself and Dan? I yeah, think he, he was, was, he met Dan. <laughs> And you could just see he was so nervous and excited. And he just kind of went from Dan to me and he was still just kind of a bit dazed. And he just turned away from me and just threw up on the stage. And I'm not very good with sick. So I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, like I jumped up to help him. And like, we got him water and stuff. And then like, as soon as everyone came over to help him, I was like, I'll go through the queue and sign things just to get, cause I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be sick in a minute. I was like, I'm gonna join it. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we, uh, and convention was born. Yeah. <laughs> was like actually, I was going to say only one, um, only one person was sick, but actually yeah. the last event we did in Galway, there was a young girl got sick, uh, but she apparently was ill anyway. Yeah, yeah, um, that doesn't count. Oh, yeah, that, that's not great advertising. <laughs> we've never had a, we've never had a faint in it, have we? Yeah. I've never had a faint. Oh, we did, we did, kind of, in um, at Insomnia Island. Oh yeah, shaky legs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tom was like, it was like a baby giraffe. He like slid down the wall. And we're like, oh my God, are you again? Yeah, because it was like, he came up to us like, oh my God, oh my God. And I saw him go. I was like, we're like ready to grab him. I thought he was going to just like drop. And I was like, But that geez. was, he like kind of would calm down and talk to us normally. And then all of a sudden be like, oh my God, I'm he talking realized. to Nettie and Tom. And then he would start up again. And we're like, no, calm down. <laughs> but anyway, Lisa. We digress. We digress. <laughs> we get carried away. What is your favorite part about the event? My favourite part is <laughs> at, at the end. At the end, for sitting down oh, afterwards. No, um, my favourite part is, I, I guess, it's very, it's very boring. Like, we're just seeing the kids' faces yeah. when they see you guys, people they've been watching. You know, you like nowadays, kids don't watch TV; they watch YouTube, they watch Netflix. Um, you know, the normal <laughs> BBC One program. They finished, I think, at yeah. this stage. And you are now their idols. Um, kids don't want to be ballerinas and pop stars anymore. They want to be these YouTubers. Um, so 
to, to be able to bring you guys to meet you know your your fans mm -hmm. um is one of the most overwhelming parts yeah i know at every event something happens where i always end up crying <laughs> uh from not, not disappointment i have to say yeah. it's not one of my uh, horrible jokes but yeah, no, sure. that's, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. something grabs me um we have so many followers over here um that come to every event oh yeah and we, yeah you do the same like faces. the the, the the family were who's obsessed with pigs. Yeah. I always see them at every they're, event. They're one of my favourites. Yeah, they I are. love they're seeing all, them. All funny. Yeah. Um, but the, the parents are now loving it too. Yeah. You know, um, they've learned a lot, awful lot. They, you know, they're developing as well with the Minecraft um, within their home because they're learning more from the kids. They've learned an awful lot from my invention, yeah. and I suppose that's where we're now turning things slightly around for this year. Mm by going bigger with our events, we're bringing in more of the ed education side of it and the inspiration side yeah. of it. Um, really while good. still having the, fun, having the fun factor, yeah. you know, yeah. have that. But we can't do it all in the size that we have currently no. been running. No, yeah. Uh, so it's like everything, you've got to keep adapting and yeah. keeping things fresh, you know? Of course, because how many events is it you've done now? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many, isn't there? five there's five on my wall there but that finished on the february 2015 um i i, I one or two <laughs> <laughs> there's been a lot <laughs> there's been quite it must be about 10 15 yeah i've been a lot yeah 10 or 15 and then also i don't know if you guys are all aware um lisa has also done the summer workshops where it's less people <laughs> and we, would, we would go over for that and um, there would just be like a couple of us there we'll do like q a there would be xboxes like build battles obstacle courses they loads of lego and like you would go and like you have lunch there and stuff it was really like nice days but yeah Tom, you did the first one, didn't you? You I came up with challenges. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Tom we went did. with Minimooka <laughs> and did oh, it. God. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah. gosh. No yeah. sleep with Mini Mooka snoring. <laughs> yeah, I remember like I think it was like no, the thing was like that first summer summer camp we did, right? It was like me and Minnie and and I kinda like took charge a little bit. I was like, Minnie, right, we need to we need to like, you know, we need to use our voices and project our voices and do all this and that. And we ended up doing these massive like um, build battles and stuff. Mm. And I was basically like, right, everyone. So on the left side, a mini success so next to projector <laughs> all day. And then we got back, and I'm not joking. He went. He got. He got some. You know, got some chicken. You know, it's like <laughs> got some chicken. And he sat down. And I, I remember I got one at Xbox. So I was playing at Xbox in the room. And it was six o'clock. And he fell asleep from six o'clock to one a.m. And he was literally like. <laughs> Like that the whole entire time. I was like, how are you tired? You've just been stood next to a projector all day. I was like, oh, Whenever Minnie. Tom is staying with Minnie, I always get sent get... loads of voice clips. Like, listen to this. Listen to what I'm having to put out with. Worse. It's like... <laughs> it's just constant. Like, it doesn't breathe. It just snores. Like, it's no... <gasps> it's just like... <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, Lisa, what events do you have coming up now? Because we've got one in a couple of weeks, haven't we? In Peterborough. Yeah. Back in the Crescent, uh, back in Peterborough. We were there last January. Um, and it's a lovely little venue. Um, well, I say little venue, but then this year we've actually taken the upstairs as well. So we're on Ooh. two floors this year Ooh. because we have brought in a bit more. We're not doing My Invention Plus. This is a normal My Invention. Um, yeah. Well, with a twist. With a twist. Um, we've brought in some Minecraft VR. We have the rock band coming through. Um, we have a server coming up, Snake MC server. We've got the build battles. Um, then we have the normal with the signing stage, the main stage. We've got 40 odd PCs and PlayStation 3s coming through as well. And we've got the Razor Bus. The Razor Bus yeah. is joining Oh, sweet. That's really cool. So, so that's, I that's will be one. there all day if you're allowed to fire me. Oh, two days. <laughs> Two, two days. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Dublin in February. Yeah. Then we start something different. We only physically have two events then outside of Peterborough this year. Um, they're what we're calling My Invention Plus. So what we are doing is we are saying goodbye to the hotel function rooms. We are landing in the RDS in Dublin. Now that's something major for us. It will be make or break time, I think. Uh, <laughs> It's scary, but 
in order to bring in what we want to bring in and give to the attendees, give to the kids, give to the parents, the guardians, um, we need to go bigger. Yeah. So we're not going huge. We're going twice the size as what we usually would. Yeah. <clears throat> but right. we're bring- <laughs> I'm listening, Lisa. <laughs> But we're bringing in the retro areas for the parents. Again, the Minecraft cool. VR. The gaming bus is coming for the first time to Ireland. Um, we have bringing over the likes of Stephen Isaacs from America. He's one oh, of the yeah, Minecraft yeah. educators. Oh, Stephen. Awesome. You, would have, you would have met him through Mindfair. Yeah. And Steve Reed is coming along with Adam Clark and Dragnos. Oh, They're Dragnos. <laughs> So they are putting together the education, the inspiration area. We've got Quacktopia coming along as well. I know, I've have heard all about me? this. Have you seen her t-shirts? They are no, really cool. I've not seen yeah, the yeah, t-shirts. Seen I've heard about them and I've heard about like her bits of merch and her little area and her she's like, right. the little battle she wants to do and stuff. So um, it's it does sound really Insta. cool. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I've not seen. (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) Squishy. Then we'll have an indie zone as well. So we've got local developers, you know, from Ireland coming to show off some bits and bobs. Oh, cool. That Um, sounds great. And we have the usual build battles, etc. So, you know, we've got, we're putting an awful lot more into, obviously, the the My Invention Plus. We are having great fun trying to get some designs as well. So all I can say at the beginning is when you come in with your tickets and your you know, you, you're registered, pick up your landards, you're going to walk through the portal to get Ooh, into the room. Oh, nice. that's cool. So we're trying to do that, and then from there, we then take it up to Belfast, Titanic. Yes. Um, yeah. July. So, well, you know, it gets us to work on more for July and more fun, and we've actually got a bigger room in Belfast. But, I mean, um, because you've never done one in Northern Ireland before, have you? No, this will be our first yeah. time. Um, it's getting, yeah, it's getting great excitement um, yeah. from the followers that we have. Um, I mean, the RDS has been brilliant as yeah. well for, uh, for because we've never actually hit the in Dublin city before. Yeah, we've been able yeah, to get there. Yeah, it's always just outside, isn't it? In Meath, 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 Meath. Yes. I say it wrong every time. <laughs> This yeah. is why we can't go back to Ireland now, Nettie. You've ruined it. <laughs> it was every time. Well, everyone says it differently, though, as well. It's like Galway, Galway, Galway. I don't say it wrong, and people get upset, and I'm like, I'm Northern, <laughs> like, from, from the UK. But with Meath, it seems to be everyone. So is that some people say like Meath, some people say Mead, some people say Meath. Yeah. They say it like quickly, and they'll be like, you'll be like, oh yeah, it's in Meath, and they'll be like, oh in Meath. It's like that's what I said. They're like, no, <laughs> it's, it's in Meath. Me. And it's like, no, I don't know, I don't know anymore. But yeah, but no, anyway, so in Dublin will be really cool. We're really looking forward to Dublin. Um, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be different, yeah. um, but hopefully a lot more fun, yeah. a lot more fun, a lot more content. Um, and this is something we, we, what we've really, um, I suppose, been really, really lucky and, and happy to get on board is what we have over here is um, a coding club called Coda Dojo. Mm. Um, it originated from Ireland as well, yeah. and they're five, five to seven years running. Mm-hmm. And um, two years ago, when I contacted them, you know, could we do something, could we collaborate, do something together? <clears throat> Obviously, they have their terms, conditions with the clubs, etc. Yeah. Um, and it just wasn't possible. But over the last two years, we've obviously proved ourselves to do what we do as best as we can, and they're actually coming to join us. So. Oh, wow. What they're doing is they're showcasing for the first time work that they've done with the Ordnance Survey Island, and they have designed Island in Minecraft. Wow, that's really cool. They're going to be showcasing that at the event, which is overwhelming. Yeah, it's brilliant. That's brilliant. really exciting. So loads coming up, and the other really exciting thing: Big B is going to the one in Dublin. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Everyone loves Big B. <laughs> All the parents like Big B. Yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone loves Big B. But yeah, how how is it dealing with YouTubers? <laughs> Bear in mind, Lisa. He can be on to it. Hold it against you. I just won't turn up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> nice more book yet, honey. Um, <laughs> um, it's taken a good two years. 
to, you know, we've She's been very that. choosy about her words here, Dave. You know, she's been very careful. It's not like you, Lisa, you know, just speak your mind. Go on, just speak your mind. I know, but you told me you weren't going to edit, so I've got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone, everyone is different. And you know what? I am um, the way I have a few little rules in my life, like I joke about it, I suppose, work hard, play hard. I'm always up front, you know, don't beat around the bush and, and it's, you know, talk to me, you know, anyone can come up and talk to me, say, I don't like this, do like that, not going to do this again, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. You know, the whole, the whole, the whole reason why my invention, which was originally, as I said, was only a once off gig for 500 people. And we're still here two years later. Um, <laughs> Can't shake you only, off now. <laughs> oh, the only reason why we are still here two years later is because we've listened to parents Mm. about what they want we've listened to the kids what they want to see what they want to do and we've listened to you guys Mm. so i mean you know at the very first event getting your feedback was (laughs) was hilarious thank god we did it um (laughs) we're um comfortable um but you know i mean other from getting everyone's feedback we won't continue Mm. you know and it will get boring so it's it, it's great. It's great to, to be with everyone, I guess, and just, um, you know, everyone, we all have our good and bad days, and yeah. you just got to, yeah. you know, take that in hand as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lisa always jokes that like because I'm really awful at replying at the time, and so it'll be a case of like <laughs> if I reply, <laughs> well I'll reply, but maybe like a day or so later. <laughs> and so she always jokes that like when I message, it will then be like kids, <laughs> like this is it, we're dealing with this now. <laughs> She's <Yeah>. finally replying. <laughs> She's uh, driving up my way. Stop, that is reply. Get but back to her. She usually replies, Tom. She usually replies in the middle of cooking dinner. I know what she's like. I know what she's like. She texts me at two o'clock this morning to remind me something. I'm well aware of what she's like. (laughs) It's when it's late and no one's talking to me. That's when my mind's ticking over. I'm like, oh yeah, I was meant to do that. Or, oh, that must be done. And I've got to message her. I get messages of all hours from her. Some really important (laughs) stuff that she's forgot to tell me. And I check my phone at morning. And if I'm getting up like eight, nine o'clock, this one from 5 a.m. Say, Tom, we need to do this tomorrow. And I'm just saying like, right, see She's not, you know, that's Nettie. Okay. Oh, Nettie does <laughs> yeah. another thing, Lisa. Have you noticed that she won't text you the whole message? She'll go, oh. if you remember to put washing out, and the pegs out, and the and the socks on, and she'll just like, da-da-da-da. I'll just like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Nettie's texting me. Like, it's in bits. Well, <clears throat> my voice is going out of the bits. Whenever it's a one-off gig, I'm like, oh, my voice is going. Whenever it's a wall of text, I always think it's a bit like, oh, I can't be bothered to read that. But if it's in little bite-sized chunks, it's sort of a bit a bit nicer to read. So. <laughs> and also it gets yeah. people's attention that bit more. Yeah. I, uh, I had one this morning. I was just laying in bed like it's like Nettie's text me. How do you know Nettie's text me? Trust me. <laughs> yeah. And I learned one thing, a very valuable lesson. I think actually Hannah did as well the very first year, was we now turn our phones off around ten o'clock at night. Yeah. Because you just get so yeah. many messages between when you guys all wake up at ten o'clock. Between ten and seven, and it just it wasn't. Um, yeah. yeah, husbands didn't like it. That kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Oh, you texted me. Oh. <laughs> but it is because obviously our times and body clocks. Like I would say, I'm on a more of a an American body clock. I tend to sleep in and go to bed late. Yeah. Rather than, and so then we'll be replying to people I mean, where our jobs are kind of odd times and it is a constant thing like we kind of forget that other people have norming what normal work hours yeah <laughs> so, I'm, t- I'm saying from the weekend as well like i'll message someone like it's sunday and i was like yeah. sunday <laughs> like, <what's> this weekend <laughs> I, I only did that yesterday and i messaged somebody unless i have to have a look back to see who messaged who first but i just remember that person then said oh i'll wake so and so up and i'm like no god no don't it's a sunday <laughs> and and he's like, what? So <laughs> there was that was squishy you now. And I yeah. said, no, no way, stand me up. He would never talk to me again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't wake up them up. <laughs> that is not okay. But like, yeah, I guess you must have it with events as well. Like days don't really matter so much. Like they just sort of blend in. Like whether it, I guess you've got like family life as well. So you have to have a bit of like weekend and week. But... I suppose. The first year it was, we lived and breathed my invention. I mean, yeah. the first day, the first day the ticket sales went on after our first event. We'd done yeah. that one song gig in Galway. 
everyone wanted more. So then we suddenly we were able to hook up three days, three day, yeah, three events in with in January, within yeah. the next four weeks after that. And the first day the ticket sales went on and we're not a big hierarchy company. <laughs> it's me, myself and I. I had Hannah. Yeah. Hannah on has a family and another job that she has to back away a bit but she's still at the events which is great yeah. Yeah. Um, and then from Hannah jumped on Simon so I, it's just me and Simon now yeah. that are just totally yeah. putting this together but myself and Hannah are sitting in my kitchen and we had three laptops we had four phones I think I had a raging cold so there yeah. was literally the sink was full of tissues <laughs> and tickets went on sale. Well, we crashed the website. Oh my God. And we tried to get the other guy to get something. I don't know, yeah. I'm not tech. So trying to get the website back up again. And it was just, it's just crazy. Yeah. So the first year we lived and breathed my invention. The second year we realized that you can turn your phone off at night and yeah. not email till the next morning. Yeah. And well, yeah. you have a family to. Yeah. <laughs> look after as well well I remember yeah, it's very difficult that, oh yeah se no, it separating is. work and real life mm -hmm. I it's find. A while. it takes a while but i mean then you know when you get the call from mindfair to say well, look you know we need you in philadelphia it's like <laughs> oh, okay you know put the family to the back again and i'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll care about you again later yeah kids you know that game minecraft come play it yeah. got some stuff to do but I, I remember in Jan that January when you first started and when I stayed in Ireland and then you, um, you took me to yours and I remember being in the car with you and your phone did not stop. And like, she'll be like telling a story and talking and then her phone will go, she'll be like, one second and she'll be like, just chatting to people like, oh yeah, check your emails, do this, blah, blah, blah. And then she'll stop and then she'll carry on with the story straight away. And then her phone would go again and it was just kind of like, just to do the story, your phone did not stop. It was crazy. <laughs> I just remember being like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking, you know, yeah, we had Mousy over that time. We brought oh, her yeah. over. I remember that one child walked into a room in Galway and Mousy was up on the stage and this child just, again, it, it was those giraffe legs. Yeah. Yeah. And I went, oh my God, something's going to happen here. And we literally yeah. pick and lift this girl up and brought her over to Mousy before oh. she was sick or painted. That's really uh, cute. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But, oh my God, the... You know, when you get emails after the event from parents yeah. and pictures from, you know, via Facebook, mm. Twitter, and my kids' best day ever, they won't take the t-shirt off, they won't take the lanyard off, yeah. and they're saying, please, please take the lanyard off, I don't want them choking during the night. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, I know, nice and friendly. Also, I love that, Sophia, yeah. go through your head, Lisa. <laughs> so funny. How many people I've told, please take the lanyard off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What would you say is the hardest thing about events? about doing my invention well again we're not a big company so we don't have sponsorship that other companies could have um yeah. it's very hard as well with us because we we decided a while back that we're not going to go into the big gaming mm. you know conventions yeah. because there's quite a few out there and even in ireland they're now starting to, to come through like once upon a time well two years ago there was nothing um, but now Insomnia, they came over last July, which is great. They're coming again this year. Yeah. Um, and also we've got a new one starting in March as well. Um, so these are big gaming conventions that would probably, you know, they wouldn't be for the for the kids, for the family, yeah. <clears throat> much as our age category would. Yeah. Um, and plus obviously they do, you know, over 18 games and everything, yeah. um, which is great. So we decided that we would um, base ourselves that we are the family gaming so everything is really from the age of maybe five to sixteen yeah and that's what we sort of adapted and yeah. I think that's the way that we're going along with the education yeah. side of it um, so we have a different niche to everyone else yeah. but we there's enough I think for everyone to yeah, you know I, I yeah. like that. I like how my invention is. What is like the ultimate dream? So if there was nothing holding you back, like, so say if you, okay, not if you won the lottery tomorrow, because then you might say you're never doing my invention again. But if you won a special lottery where it was just for like well, my if invention. you got like a, a sponsor by some huge company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like if you got a big sponsor, like say if Cook or like yeah. said, I will sponsor you or whatever else. Yeah. If I, would yeah, you get in my invention I... bus? Touring Australia. Yeah. Gary, Fraggers, get on to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, if if I didn't have to worry about the money, I suppose that's the hardest thing, is because we can only provide what the ticket sales give yeah. us. Yeah. Um, you know, and we, we do do a few other bits and bobs for the YouTubers that I know that other events might not do. Yeah. Um, so, 
you know, it's very, we do work for a very, very tight budget. And to be honest, this year has actually seen us literally drawing a line under the last two years. And we're starting from scratch this year. Oh, really? Um, so it's as if we've just started all over again. Mm-hmm. And that's scary. Yeah. But, um, but hell, if we don't do it, like I was only talking to Raider Wolf during the week and she said, you know, oh, I might just give it up, you know, and just do normal job. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it sounds great. Even me, a normal job sounds yeah. great. But then I'd always say, well, what if? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, you know, you've got to keep on plodding and it's, yeah. it's a dream. But my dream is to go more with the with decoration. Yeah. Um, give the wow factor. So when you yeah. walk into that room, you go, wow. Yeah. Because um, we, uh, to date, we've not been able to do that. Oh, are you saying um, that you don't say wow when you see our faces? Yeah. <laughs> is, is that what you're Smart. saying, Lisa? Smart. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. um, I want to give more pizzazz to the event. So... Um, and now with us working, you know, like with the guys in America, which is great, we bring on a few more education um, guys from even for Europe now. So yeah. it'd be interesting to get the RDS event completed and then to see what they thought yeah. and where they think that we could go and we could work together. And yeah. where does it go from this, you know? So <clears throat> that's, that's the exciting time. I want Lisa to have a My Invention bus. I want a big bus with like My Invention branding on and we could have like little beds in there like a tour bus and then we can travel Australia. <laughs> Australia. Nettie's, yeah. Nettie a New tour Zealand. for ages, Tom. Really? <laughs> Two for like a year or she so. She just wants her own comfy corner, Lisa. Don't listen to her. She, <laughs> just, wants her, she, wants her fluff, she just wants fluffy walls and all this kind of stuff. Like I want to play past the pig on a bus. I think what we should do is, um, like, we should we should finalise exactly what mind fair dates are next yeah. year. Hopefully, if they're oh, I think we lost pre Lisa. Dates Lisa we lost you for a second oh, there. If you'd I'm like here. to repeat that, <laughs> I'm here. Um, but we need to get the mind fair dates. Mm. Then we need to organise a bus. We need to take two or three months out and just tour around America while yeah. going to my fair. Yeah, I think so that's three months. Yeah, oh, we can prep our videos yeah. and we could do vlogs while we're there. That was that's the ultimate test of friendship. <laughs> three months <laughs> and a bus together. <laughs> Jeez. But I've done I've, I've done three weeks for you, Nettie, and that was uh, actually I wasn't too bad. I was actually thinking about this. Say, like, so the <clears> flights <throat> to Australia or something like that, they're really, really expensive. But mm. if you did multiple events in that time, then that would be like lots of flights to Ireland. It will add up to around the same if we just covered X amount of events. So if we were there for a set amount of time, we could tour Australia. Hey, so guys. if you'd like us to come to Australia, let us know in the comments section down below. <laughs> also, let make sure your parents well, are going to pay for us to come up. It's really funny. The other day, <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Go on, Lisa. So where do you want to see us next? Yeah, well, I was messaging Lisa the other day and we were just chatting like privately. And then um, I was joking like, oh, like keep it to like areas where there's not much like there's not many gaming events. Like how about an event in Hawaii and like sort of like ah. hinting at different places or I was like, or an event in Australia. And then um, with that, like no exaggeration, like it must have been like 10 minutes after that conversation. Yeah. Someone tweeted me going, Nettie, are you ever going to do any events in Australia? I like screenshot it. I was like, Lisa, look. <laughs> Like, I didn't prompt, I promise. Like, this actually yeah. just happened. We always get loads of requests from Australia and yeah. New Zealand, because yeah. obviously it's like literally the other side of the world for Rob, us. But, like, Rob, Dubai Rob, is hell. Oh, yeah, Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd melt over there. I'd melt <laughs> over there. I would melt over there. <laughs> but, yeah. Jeez. So, apart from melting, is there any particular moments and things at any event that has stuck out to you for being like, oh, this is really special? Like one moment, like that, you've just kind of had that fuzzy um, feeling. There's a few, like I mean, some of the events, um, some we wouldn't get any requests, but we we've, we've worked, I guess, you know, with, with um, some of the charities, yeah. and we've we've met quite a few kids and families, I guess, you know, adults too, yeah. from like Make the Wish Foundation. Um, so we'd work with them, we'd bring them in first as well, yeah. um, and. And it'd be great, it'd just be great for families to get together. We we had a lovely family that we met in Galway last, actually. Yeah. And uh, mum and dad and three kids. And it's funny because I'm now talking to the mother pretty much every day. Yeah. Um, 
you know, whereas we've been emailing each other for months coming up to the event mm. to make sure that we could do things good for the kids. And uh, <clears throat> so it's that kind of relationship there where it comes to supporting charities and, and getting the kids. Yeah. Um, and then you go from another side, then the likes of, oh, again, in the last event, Jedward turned yeah. up. Um, I mean, <laughs> that up. and now they're on Celebrity uh, Big, Big Brother. Brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, did you not know they went in the other no. day? Oh, no. It's really exciting. I know he is Big Brother every night, and it's not appropriate, but mm. so we're sort of trying to let us see a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, then I suppose the, the other one was May this year when yeah. you brought a friend over, Nettie, as a surprise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when we surprised Lisa with Squishy. Lisa hit me <laughs> because of that. <laughs> Do I need to edit this bit out? <laughs> She was like, she she literally she told me off for surprising her with Squishy. <laughs> she was like, oh you, <laughs> how dare you? Nobody so ever surprises me. It's always me doing it to other people, and it was only twice in my life I can say that I've been surprised, and that was one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but uh, I hope Ken isn't watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I I have to say though that you know we were sitting around at dinner. Mm. when she came into the room and with all the technology that everyone around that table has I cannot believe but I appreciate that nothing was ever filmed yeah because it was our downtime Lisa we're not constantly oh. so it's all like something funny's gonna happen get your phone yeah. out I'm ready I'm ready Ooh. yeah Lisa's about to embarrass herself yeah. to get the phone out that's what I'm surprised well, no, no, one no one else was in on it apart from Hannah and Jason yeah, I like, didn't even. Uh, Tom, I was like, "What are you well, doing Tom, here?" You almost ruined it. Like, well, I was talking to you, I think, at the table. Yeah, well, I had only just. I walked in on my own, and I was sort of saying hi to people. And Squishy was coming down behind me, but I got stopped by people on the way in. So Squishy didn't give me enough time to actually get in and sit down and stuff. So I got in, and I was kind of like Choo Choo was saying hi to me, and I was really distracted, almost like wanting to get past and sit down. <laughs> But so I must have looked really rude, just sort of like, oh, hi, like, Whoa, kind of thing, like trying to sit down. And then, like, Squishy just came in, and I was just like, oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it's just, it was mortifying. You know, I, I apologize to this, you know, waitress that, oh, she looked like someone we knew. And then she showed me her name badge. She said, Casey. And she just had this accent. Yeah. No, 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 my name my name is Casey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said, you just look like someone. I said, even that blonde bit in your hair. And Tom started sniggering or snorting. And I'm, oh my God. I looked at you and you just nodded. And yeah. I just died. Died of death. <clears throat> and then the next thing then is, Oh my God, security, ticket sales, what are we at, what are we at? <laughs> <laughs> we, I did like confirm with Hannah like it would be okay and that it would like, she was in on it so I didn't just bring a random person to an event, like I did get permission from one of the people who at the at the time Hannah was still in a large part of helping with the organising, wasn't it? So <clears throat> yeah. I, I didn't just like surprise them too much. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, I think there would be a a riot. <laughs> oh, God. But it was, um, yeah, I suppose they're two of my main ones along yeah. with the, the charities. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's my highlight. <laughs> <laughs> what did, like, your family and friends sort of think when you first started doing, like, Minecraft events? And, like, the people who, like, obviously Hannah is, like, one of your best friends, and she, but she was, like, involved. What were the people, like, outside? And, like, because obviously your, your mum's, your, uh, has your mum been to an event? Your mum? She has. She's Your been in an event, event yeah, she? in yeah. England. Yeah, um, and then Ken's p um, parents been to. Oh yeah, the they event surprised before as well. Before we, in November, yeah. and um, yeah, they don't understand what it is. They don't understand what YouTube is. Yeah. But they know that I'm having a lot of fun at the moment doing yeah. what I'm doing. <clears throat> so don't ask too many questions. Yeah. You know. <laughs> no, that's good. But what what would you say is the most important thing for like running an event? For you you gotta have, you gotta have fun enjoy what you do um i sound like you now let you god um <laughs> say, isn't it yeah i thought Patience. you only looked at it on, on video the other day um yeah. it's it's trying to i suppose the hardest thing maybe is trying to meet everybody's expectation mm. of what they think your event is going to be um you know we we had an instance only a couple of events ago where the mother with two kids was unhappy and I said okay what was your expectation mm -hmm. I don't know 
okay um and i said sat down with the children it was like saying to children well have you have you been to our events before no okay have you any friends that have no do you know what we do at the events no yeah so i went yeah. back to the parent and i said well you know did you read up on our website on our facebook twitter anything about what the event is mm. no <laughs> and and it was like well you know you, you yeah. need to know yeah. do a bit of research about what you're coming to so yeah. trying to meet everyone's expectations is extremely hard because yeah. what one yeah. person thinks has been a great day the next person will say well this is rubbish yeah um, but that's a hard thing with events but i mean you'll never get any event 100 percent everyone's happy oh um, no yeah as soon as you've got a large amount of people there's always someone that yeah. is going to be unhappy and it, often it's like for a silly reason like i remember one time um on the facebook page someone made a complaint saying that um there was only like fizzy drinks and only like sweets and stuff and they couldn't get food and drink and they were at the american sweet stand and they didn't see that there was the whole oh. section at the back that had yeah. food and water and like different things and it was like sometimes there's people who will complain and it's just like you've not looked <laughs> like that's not the case but yeah. yeah I mean a lot of the times even now you know you you can put up a boost on Facebook kind of yeah. thing and they can say well where do I get the tickets it's on the page you know yeah. it's it's the bottom you know don't know on the website there you know how much tickets please look yeah. at the website who's going yeah. to the who's what YouTubers are there please look at the poster I've just posted your names are up there you know it's um it, it can be frustrating. It's yeah. different though, again because we deal, well, I do, you know, and Simon now with everything. So we're dealing with the emails, all the social media, the tickets as well, you know, so it's an awful lot. Um, <clears throat> whereas other companies would have sections, you know, you have a team that deal with this, team would deal with that. Yeah. And I can see going into the larger events now mm. how lovely that must be for a larger yeah. company. You're just designated to yeah. one area of the event and you get it organized. Yeah. Whereas it's a lot to do. It's a lot to do. Yeah. Um, but it's exciting. It's good. And I guess I'm very passionate about it. And yeah. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Like from going to the events and things, um, Tom, Tom and I have obviously seen that um, for you your your team your team that you have are often like you've got a lot of friends and family from like your village or like you've got like Janet who's a mum from like the town and stuff like that and you've got your kids are running around and helping and doing things and you've got like your husband there and then you had your best friend and her husband and things like that how do you think that has helped you rather than just getting in other people I've been very lucky that I guess we've we've kept everyone <clears throat> for the, you know, the last two years like we, we have two other girls we have my niece uh, so if you're familiar with yeah. my invention, niece Leah, yeah. she does the whole battle stages. Yeah. And then one of her friends, a girl called Jemima, uh, now looks after the main stage. She so, used to teach the Coda Dojo as well, didn't she? That's right, yeah. yeah. So she's very familiar with a lot of, um, you know, I, I guess it's like the code inside mm. of, of Minecraft, etc. Um, but they've become, you know, fantastic. Like Jemima's now joining me in Peterborough next month. Um, next month, two weeks time. Yeah. Um, Leah can't unfortunately this time, but they'll be all back together again for Dublin and the yeah. RDS. Um, good. It's great because everyone is so is so connected. I mean, even Janet that would <clears throat> help me now do the merchandise. She would turn around and say, "Right, you want to be selling this? This sells really well. Yeah. You know, I want to stop yeah. selling this. I've done it for two years. It's getting boring. Yeah. You know." And everyone is so so passionate about the event because of what it does and yeah. brings so many people together. Yeah. Um, I remember going to, again, God, it's Mind Fair again, and we met two girls. I met two girls that were followed, followed me <clears throat> for a couple of years. And then they saw via my page that Mind Fair was on, yeah. so Mind Fair was nearer to where they lived. Ah. They'd been on YouTube for a number of years, but never physically met, but had the passion ah. of Mind Fair. And they met for the first time there. That's really nice. I like that. And they're a big uh, fan of Squishy. So if it's mm. the crack, I just text I text Squishy to say hello mm. and a picture. And the next thing, she replied back to them. Aww. And I mean, when you can do that for yeah. just people, out of 2,000 people, whatever, yeah. you know you've done it. You yeah. know, it's, yeah. it's making dreams come true. And it's, yeah. I absolutely love it. 
Well, I've always admired that you've had the early access for the different charities. Like, I don't know if you all know, um, there's Lisa has like a early access. So for the first hour for people who struggle with loud noises and crowds and things like that, um, they get to come in and it's a lot quieter. The lights are a bit brighter and we're all, <coughs> sorry, my voice is going. Um, and then like we're all there early and stuff and so um we get to like hang out with them a bit and i really like that you've always done that yeah but me what, too what was like what made you come up with that idea because that, that's not something i've really seen at any other event like ever and if if so it's it, been since you've done that and i think maybe yeah. they picked up from it. it it's not something we had at the first event yeah. um that's the, that, that's the truth and then the response that we got from the first event, I did not realize how much Minecraft um, was, was such a large, you know, game within, uh, fall under the umbrella, you know, of children with sensory needs, etc. Um, and children with autism. And if there's a family of, of four kids and one child has autism, this is the only thing, Minecraft, that can actually four children can come and join yeah. together and go to an event together. Whereby, I mean, I've got friends that, and some friends have five five kids, two children maybe have autism. But it means dad having to take those children away after yeah. an hour and the mum, you know, so they're splitting up as a family unit. Yeah. Whereas yeah. my invention, they find that, that child that usually can only handle half an hour in that kind of environment, mm -hmm. you're that be the child you're kicking out at six o'clock in the evening. So yeah. you've got to go home. Yeah. Like please they, go. I love it. Um and so you know, you get so many parents coming up to us and saying, oh, well, my child won't, won't handle an hour. Mm. I, you know, I differ. I yeah. differ to say, you bring your child to one of our events, mm. and believe me, a number of those children will enjoy it. And just because, again, they're focused on Minecraft, they're focused yeah. on everything, you know, um, and they just they just have so much fun. And it's, yeah. you know, it's time, it's all in one room, so the parents can take a coffee, sit down, and still watch them going around the room doing their own thing. Yeah. No, it is cool. now, We did come up with a um, an issue with Dublin and the Belfast mm. because of say just ticket prices really more than anything. Mm. Um, but what we've done is we've worked with Sensational Kids and we're providing an area um, calling the sensory area, so like mm. a chill out section. That's so it will have like what you saw at um, Shay's Dreamland. Yeah. James Dream Factory, yeah. um, Dream Factory they're yeah. coming on board with their bus so we have another bus there but it has all the sensory you know it's all kitted out and that yeah they're going to join our sensory area as well mm. and um it's it's just going to be it, it's good that we can try and do as much as we can mm. you know without you know providing the very very cheap tickets which yeah. is what we, we had done to date um unfortunately we we just cannot the business won't you know succeed if we continue yeah. the way we're yeah. doing but we're trying to do, to allow that and mm -hmm. to still try and accommodate for yeah. for children for needs and that yeah. so it'll be interesting to see how it works out what feedback we get and how we can then maybe change it around to suit Belfast yeah no that's really cool Tom do you want to say something that you think that Lisa well the my invention team do well um spot um I think that like 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 we've just been previously saying that like if there's anything that's the thing is I like about the event, if there's anything that someone said that Lisa takes it on board and she puts it into um, say, into practice. Answer. Well you should have let on first, then shouldn't you? <laughs> um yeah, because like like um so say like if we were doing like a meet and greet and stuff like that and there's like some of us on the actual stage and then some of us go through the crowd and it kind of like keeps everyone also engaged but and it kind of like makes it goes uh, a lot smoother if that makes sense yeah um like when we start doing that like so say if it was like the last time when it was like me you uh martin and squish like martin and squish stayed on stage and me and you went through a crowd and then that way people were like oh my god like yeah. he's right there She's right there. And so five out. And that, that look, works pretty well. And like at other events, you couldn't really do that. No. Um, yeah, I just like the fact that like if you say something like, Lisa, maybe we could try this, it would work better. She will, she will, she's not just going to be like, um, it's my event, sweetheart. I know what I'm doing. You don't. You know yeah. what I mean? She takes on board what we're saying and puts it into good, yeah. you know, practice and stuff like that. I think, yeah. And she's, yeah, and she's it's, nice to us. It's the, <laughs> yeah, she's nice. She looks after us. But no, because like if something, say, if something's not quite perfect, like someone will give feedback. Like, for example, people complained about a length of a queue for a meet and greet. So Lisa was like, okay, what can we do about this? And now they've got 
a big screen um, by the queue where you yeah. can constantly watch. So it's almost like you're just in an audience watching what's on the stage while you're in yeah. the queue. And so mm-hmm. it's kind of keeping everyone entertained and having people going through the lines and stuff. So every time there's something, like even if something's not perfect, Lisa will tweak it until yeah. it's... So every event, it changes slightly. And that's something that I really admire because I think yeah. that's it's being able to improve or take put like it's like constructive criticism I guess and it's yeah yeah and like Lisa always changes it which I think's the best thing mm-hmm. but yeah yes, and anyway, uh, uh, one of your your new questions there have you ever fangirled at an event who asked uh, or you? no me I fangirled the other day Why? but it, it wasn't at an event I was Christmas shopping oh I uh, saw I saw yeah. <laughs> you know what? Nate was... tried to stitch me up. She tried. She texted <laughs> me saying, "Never guess who Lisa's got for the new mind venture." I was like, "You're lying. I know she hasn't. Don't even say that." Like, I, I'm working on it, honey. I'm working on it. <laughs> I was shaking. I was shaking really? talking to him, and I just, oh my god! And my poor mother yeah. had the shopping trolley full of shopping, and I just shoved her to the side. <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. Oh yeah, my funny. god, it's so funny. But I did. I was shaking. I bet. Yeah. Oh my god. He's very nice. He's a nice chap to talk to. It's not yeah. very like. Very polite, bless him. But I bet he yeah. just was thinking, "I'll oh, just go away." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy ladies in <just> supermarkets. <laughs> Who's this crazy lady? <laughs> oh dear. But before we end this episode, do you want to say hi to your kids? Because Hi, I'm kids. sure that um, <laughs> you got you got told off, didn't you, a little bit before coming on? Like, don't do anything embarrassing. Oh, People I watch it. Like it like that, yeah. Um... Should we should we embarrass them? <laughs> Shauna, you crazy monkey. Oh yeah, that hasn't changed. Um, oh, how can we embarrass them? I don't know. I well, I just say hello to them anyway. So, Kieran, we're here because of you. It's your own fault. Um. <laughs> Come, start playing another game and we'll do another venture. Yeah. Um, Aoife, yeah, Aoife. Aoife lost her laptop yesterday. No. Um, how can you lose a laptop when you haven't even left the house? Oh, so gosh. We've lost, song, we lost a laptop in the house. So all right, we'll I, find it. I just bought all the new equipment for all her recording and everything for Christmas, and that's on it. So um, don't know where that is right now. We were going to embarrass her when we came to yours, weren't we? We were going to pick her up from school on Hannah's donkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just to embarrass her. Like, hi, <laughs> we're here to take um, you home. This, this is a message to all the kids that listen to Big and Little Thoughts. <laughs> Have a thought and don't ever invite a YouTuber to your house. And if I you don't... do, do not give them a Sharpie pen and show them the bedroom walls. Uh... <laughs> don't, don't turn up at a YouTuber's house as well while we're on the subject. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, throwing that out there. We scribbled all over. Well, we didn't scribble. We <laughs> signed the wall. <laughs> but it was it's big, isn't it? It's a really big signature. But now there's a there's little loads more now. And another one, another yeah. wall saying oh. Netty smells, and then <laughs> solidarity. I was going to call him Timmy then. <laughs> uh, he on it, crosses out something, and then Snake Doctor's done the same. So you all just having a fight. So whoever comes into the house next, just got to know me. <laughs> yeah, Tom's going to come in. You know, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for coming and talking to us, um, and yeah, give, me. giving your views and we'll be in my invention in a couple of weeks and so i'm Next sure weekend. you guys yeah so you guys will see <laughs> all the photos and everything like that so yeah so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next week bye big and little thoughts we'll have an outro soon but if you have got one leave in the comment section below bye <laughs>